My name's Scott Teal. I'm the founder of TOCO. I'm also the DLA Piper representative on the Hedera Governing Council and a member of the Hedera Board. TOCO is a global business, but it's obviously critical that we, we have presence in some of the virtual assets and crypto hubs around the world, including obviously Miami. So TOCO is a wholly owned subsidiary of, of DLA Piper. What I was looking for was the opportunity to create a complementary technology that could be delivered in combination with legal services to provide something that clients want, but uh, isn't necessarily available either from a traditional technology business or indeed a traditional legal business. So that was the origin and, and the sort of rationale for creating a, a very complex um, sort of next generation blockchain based Web3 company within a law firm, because it isn't necessarily an obvious connection at first blush. It was uh, a business that was incubated as part of the firm's Radical Change initiative, where we were looking to develop non-legal services businesses within, within the, the, the structure of the law firm, but in a way that allowed us to do something that was more than law, but also complementary to the delivery of, of legal services. One of the ambitions around TOCO is actually to democratise um, finance. TOCO in combination with the legal services actually provides clients with a solution or an answer to the question, how do I fractionalise or do fundraisings or issue virtual assets in a way that is compliant and also technologically sound. When we started envisaging what does a complex security token ecosystem in, in, in a global decentralised marketplace, what 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 does that maybe look like? And the presumption that those global financial centres that exist today in the traditional world are going to be the same ones in that new world, I think is a presumption that needs to be, to be challenged. And then we thought to ourselves, so if that's where we want to get to, what is the technology platforms we need to bring to bear on that problem? I had the privilege of meeting with, with Mance and Lehman uh, in Singapore. I can remember the breakfast at, at, a, at a hotel around the, around the marina. I was just intently listening and it was, it was fascinating to hear that they had built a technology platform that seemed to have all of those attributes that were going to be essential for, for delivering the vision that we were hoping to start building towards. And, and to put some, you know, points around what that, what that meant at the time and what that looked like. It was things like the scalability. You need a protocol that's going to be capable of, of scaling to deal with that transaction volume. There were other features like the, the level of security. The consensus layer is important. I think there were other things like the, you know, the, the stability of the network, like the fair ordering and timestamping. These were the attributes we're going to need when this global decentralized marketplace for security tokens takes off. That was really the, the foundational layer of our interest in, in Hedera. We joined the Hedera Governing Council. We learned about their technology and they've been very supportive in helping us sort of bridge the gap. We, we were after all only a law firm. The opportunity to participate in a council of, of enterprises that are looking to build the future on Hedera, being able to then collaborate with them because we bring different skills and, and, and things than they do is going to be more powerful than just doing it on your own. I, I think we're going to see very broad adoption of the, of the technology over, over the next few years. And we are really on the cusp of the decentralization and democratization of financial services. And, and I'm really excited about the opportunity around participation by, by more people in this ecosystem. We're barely at the foothills of, of what I think is going to be a very uh, exciting and large mountain that we're all about to climb in this space. Being able to be a law firm changing the world, sitting next to a bank changing the world and a large IT company changing the world, maybe we could change the world together.